Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to configure rest assured Gradle project in Eclipse. So in our previous video, we have seen that how to create a Maven project in Eclipse. So here we'll see Gradle project in Eclipse for rest assured. Okay, so for that, let's go to Eclipse. So you see that rest assured Maven project we created in our previous video. So here, go to the file, hover on new and click on the project. So the moment you click on the project, you can see these options. From these options, so you need to see general Gradle Java Maven. So expand the Gradle. So Gradle project option you can see. Click on this Gradle project. Click on next. You can see this kind of screen. So then again click on next. So here you need to provide the project name. So rest assure Gradle project. Okay. And if you click on next, nothing you can see. You can click on this finish button. So I just created rest assured Gradle project. And you can see that here one more directory called lib created. So inside the lib, you can see source main Java, source test Java, something like that. If you expand Gradle project, you don't see those things. So, so there is an issue, it seems. It is there from long time. So, but uh, I want to something like this. So you see that Maven project, if you expand, everything will be inside the project. But here, inside the actual project structure, nothing is there, but the actual project structure, which we need is outside of this project and inside the lib folder. So, there is a workaround to fix this. So for that, what we need to do, open the expand rest assured Gradle project. You see settings.gradle, double click on this. You see that here include lib. So remove this, Sorry. remove this and save. And after that, we just re delete these two projects from the Eclipse, okay? Right click on this delete just delete means remove from the eclipse not from the your file explorer okay click ok and right click delete just click ok now go to the folder structure where you have you see that here in this location rest assured gradle project created if you open this you see lib inside the rest assured gradle project but when you see in the eclipse it is outside of that Okay, that is the issue. So now, once you delete there, here, come here, open the lib, copy everything, cut from here, control X, go back, paste outside of this lib folder, control V. So if something it is asking for replace files in the destination, click on this replace. So it's done. If you go to the inside lib, you don't see anything. We just cut here and paste it here. So now the lib folder is empty. So now what you can do, you just click on this lib and simply right click, delete. We don't need that lib lib folder, okay? That is the fix. Now, what you need to do, okay, go back to the Eclipse. Now import that project. So file, so import, and here also you have different options. So Gradle, Maven, something like that. If we expand the Gradle, so this is ex existing Gradle project. We already created, right? So because of that, it is saying when you click on import, existing Gradle project, click on next. And the same screen, click on next. Here, so it is already populating this. If it is not populating, you can click on here. Paste that location, otherwise manually you can go there. So click on the Gradle project, select, select folder, and then finish. And you see that left side, you can see the Gradle project. If you expand, you see source test Java, source main resources, source test resources, source main resources, something like that. All the folder structure came inside the your rest assured Gradle project. So now that is fine. But this is a just a simple Gradle project. But we are talking about rest assured Gradle project. So how you can bring rest assured into your Gradle project? So for that, you need to add the dependency. So for that, what you need to do, build.gradle, you need to go to build.gradle, so open this. By default, you can see some plugins, repositories, dependencies, all these things. 
if you need this dependency, you can use, otherwise you can simply delete. So in the dependencies, I need to add rest assume. So then go, go to Maven repository, MVN repository.com. So this is Maven repository. Here you just search rest assured. Okay. So you see rest assured, io dot rest assured, rest assured. So click on this rest assured. You see latest version is 5.4.0. Click on here. Once you come here, so by default, it will be selected Maven. So, but you have different Gradle versions. Right? Click on this Gradle. You can select anything this. Click on this Gradle. Just click here. So automatically it copied to clipboard. It's copied. Go back to your Eclipse. So inside the dependencies, you just paste. Okay. So, and then what you need to do once you paste here, immediately rest assured will not come into your project. So if you expand your project and external dependencies, so you don't see rest assured related here. Okay, for that, you need to click on the, right click on the project, go to Gradle, click on refresh Gradle project. So the moment you do that, you see that the previously added dependencies I removed here, so it removed and it added rest assured 5.4.0 dot jar and the dependencies, other dependencies which we need. Okay, so the, li the library which we need, we can, we added that jar file. So how can you make sure that these are added successfully? So for that, you can create any normal Java file and you can verify that we did in the Maven project also. If you want to create, uh, this is by default created one directory, I mean project package and inside that library test that Java that we don't need. I can simply delete. So inside source test Java, I'll create new package. So that is in dot at something like that finish. So inside this, I'll create a class rest assured demo and then public static void main. If you want to create a J unit test or test ng test, that dependencies also we need to add. So that kind of dependencies we can add later whenever we need. But here we're just uh, talking about how to create a rest assured Gradle project and that dependency is working fine or not. So I'm just creating a normal Java class, public static void main finish. So it created a normal Java project inside this. So I'll try to add some of the classes or interfaces which we discussed in our previous video. So rest assured. This is that rest assured dot base URL, something like that. And the request specification. This is that request specification. So the classes and interfaces which we discussed in one of our previous video, those are coming. Okay, those I'm able to use here. So means it is successfully added rest assured dependency. Okay, so this is how you can create a rest assured Gradle project and you can start uh, testing your APIs. If you need other dependencies, whenever you need, you just come to build.gradle and you keep adding your dependencies here and refresh your project. Then you will get the jar files into your project. Okay. So this is how you can create Gradle rest assured project. Okay. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates. Thank you.